Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK, and welcome to my latest bread recipe. And in this one, I thought we'd have a little fun and show you how we make our delicious hedgehog bread. And all you need to make it is the basic bread making ingredients, a small pair of scissors, and a baking tray. You can make large ones or small roll size ones, as you can see in my hedgehog family here. <laughs> and I'd also like to say, no hedgehogs were harmed in the making of this video. And this is the cute little fella that we'll be making today. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video, or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. I'd also like to thank my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thanks supporters for their very kind help in producing these tutorial videos. Your amazing financial support really helps with ever-increasing equipment, ingredient and editing software costs. I'll be giving you all a name splash and shout out a little later in the video. OK, let's get on with today's recipe. Start the recipe by making up your yeast mixture. To the warm water add the sugar and the yeast and give that a good mix. Once mixed set it aside to activate and if you don't see any activation after 10 minutes your yeast must be dead and it needs replacing. And it's always best to test your yeast before starting any bread recipe. Add your bread flour to a bowl. Now mix in the salt. Time to add your softened butter and simply rub it in with your fingers. And as this is a fairly small recipe, I'm going to hand knead this dough and give my wonky hand a bit exercise. But if you have a stand mixer, feel free to use that if you prefer. Now add your yeast mixture and bring it all together. I like to use my trusty wooden spoon handle for this job. Once you have the dough roughly mixed, turn it out onto your worktop. Before you start kneading, get your bench scraper and bring it all together first. Once you have it all together, hand knead the dough for 10 minutes. Also knead for 10 minutes if you're using a machine. Try to follow my kneading techniques. I go into a lot more detail in my sandwich bread and cottage loaf videos. I'll leave links in the description box below this video. This rolling style is also a good but simpler technique you can follow too. Once the time's up, you should have a nice soft ball of dough. Add a half teaspoon of oil to your mixing bowl and spread it out. Place the dough ball in the bowl and cover it. Now I like to use a shower cap for this. And if you're interested, we have a good selection of shower caps in various colours and patterns in the website shop. I'll leave a link in the description box below this video. OK, now get the bowl into a nice warm spot. I like to use the oven with just the light bulb on. Wherever you're proofing your dough, set your timer for 45 minutes. OK, that's the time up on this proof. And as you can see, it's risen very nicely. Now using your bowl scraper, turn out the dough onto the bench and knock it back into a flat sort of pancake shape as shown. Now follow the shaping instructions I do in the video. The aim is to get it into a pointy wedge shape. Make sure you nip the seam together on the bottom of the dough. 
Obviously, the flat end will be the body of the hedgehog and the pointy end will be its head. Once you have your hedgehog shaped, get it onto a baking tray. Sprinkle a little flour on the dough. Cover it with a dry, lightweight proofing cloth. Now get it back into its warm spot. This time set your timer for 30 minutes. And if you're interested, my new one size fits all apron line complete with embroidered thumbs up logo and info is on sale in the website shop too. It's just another way you can support the channel guys. Okay, that's the second proof done. Now get it onto your bench and it's now time to make our hedgehog spiky. But before going any further, Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 355 Fahrenheit, or gas mark 4. To cut the hedgehog spikes in the dough, get a small pair of scissors and follow the demonstration in the video. Gently work in lines across the dough. And when you're onto your second line, alternate the cuts in between the previous line of cuts. You can make as many or as few spikes as you like. Once you're done, get it into the preheated oven and set your timer for 25 minutes. And while that's baking, I hope you don't mind if I give my four recipe books a quick shout out. The books have lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in them. And also book 4 in this series is totally dedicated to bread recipes. And by popular demand, the skeleton style oven gloves are now available too. Just click on the eye icon top right of your screen and that will take you to the website shop where all of these items are available now. Right, while the hedgehog's baking, it's time to mix up your egg wash. More of that a little later. To make the colour for the eyes and nose, get a teaspoon of icing or powdered sugar and add a couple of drops of water and mix it up. Now add three or four drops of food colouring. I'm using black. Mix that together and set those aside for now. When there's only five or six minutes left on the baking time, stop the timer and get it out and onto the bench. Right, carefully give the whole hedgehog a good coat of the egg wash. This will give the bread a golden brown colour and make it nice and shiny. Once your egg wash is on, get it back into the oven and restart your timer. When the time's up, get it out of the oven and carefully move it onto a wire rack. Now while it's still hot, get your food colouring and using your finger, dab a little on to make the eyes. If you look closely, you'll see I've already marked a couple of places where I think the eyes should go. Once the eyes are done, Give it a few dabs for the nose. Right, let that completely cool for a few minutes and when I come back I'll let you see what it looks like on the inside. Ok, time to give this beautiful bread a little taste. I'll cut a couple of slices off. And as you can see, it has a beautiful soft and close crumb. Ok, on a serious note, these spikes can be a little hard, especially if you overbake this bread. So I would recommend snapping off the spikes before giving any to any small children. So please be careful. But for older kids and adults, those spikes are really crunchy. Right, here I go for a taste. 
And just as I knew it would be, it's absolutely delicious. I really hope you give this little hedgehog a go. It's easy and fun to make and definitely gets a big thumbs up. And as promised at the beginning of the video, here is the latest list of my Patreon, PayPal and Super Thank You button supporters. And they are Amin Mosen, Thomas Brosh, Enrique Paliso, Arthur Whitaker, Nanette Gallagher, Marky, Mary Williams, Mary Sean and Winnie Nicely, Nastasia E. Grain, Lynn Purvis Yund, Dee Dee, John A. Reletz, Ed McLaughlin, Renta Ghost, Jens K. 3250, Roderick Campbell 2105, Princess AG 5708, Wendy and Bobby Warren, Mike Weaver and CK Chen. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.